I started my uh, fledgling dealership back in 1976 on a two-string budget. And uh, after about a half a year, six, seven, eight months into it, one Friday morning, I realized that I didn't have any money in the bank and I didn't have any, enough money in my pocket to make payroll to pay all my three employees that I had then. And I was uh, trying to figure out what to do, what to tell these guys. These guys had families. Uh, they needed to put food on the table. And uh, I just didn't know what to say. So I started rehearsing some stories to tell them. And um, then I noticed a uh, Harley Davidson truck pulled up in front of the dealership. And they delivered uh, a box. Uh, we were excited what's in it. We opened it. It was a lowrider. Um, all in it all in its uh, uh, gray uh, glory uh, with the red uh, uh, Harley Davidson logo on it and it just looked beautiful um, with a two inch uh, extended front end that gave it that raked look and uh, we just I just kind of forgot about payroll for a minute uh, we uh, uncrated this bike we set it up we washed it, we cleaned it, we brought it into the showroom floor. And um, as I was admiring this bike, uh, some customer walked in and uh, said, gee, that's a lowrider? I said, yes, it is. He says, that's just exactly what I've been looking for. Is it for sale? And I said, yes, sir. And it just kind of made my day. Uh, the lowrider was uh, one of the first uh, uh custom bikes uh, of course uh, Willie G came up with the uh, uh, super glide with the, the bolt tail rear fender um, and uh, um, then you know he, he did a lot of great styling job but this was one of his first major commercial hits somehow it um, it was like one of those nails that you hit it right in the head and just drive it all in kind of thing and uh, it just uh, uh, became really, really popular. We didn't get enough of them. Uh, we ended up selling a lot of them that year. Willie G is a good listener. A listener, and when he went to, he liked going to these rallies. And of course, he was every he was he went to uh, Daytona every year in the middle of winter, uh, first part of March. He would ride all the way from uh, uh, snowy and cold uh, Milwaukee all the way down to Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, and uh, when he was at the rallies, uh, he listened uh, to people. He looked at the bikes, uh, the custom bikes that people were building. And um, he uh, uh, kind of found out what these guys were building and what they were looking for. And uh, so he kind of uh, directed his creativity towards uh, what he was hearing out there on the road, whether it was Daytona Beach or it was... Uh, uh, the Black Hills of Sturgis, uh, North Dakota. And it seemed to me logical that this motorcycle would uh, emphasize some of the, the character that I found at Sturgis. So the machine in behind me, the black on black Sturgis, is a result of, of that trip. And while we're in this wayside on the way home, uh, sitting around, we I got out of uh, brown paper bag and started writing and that was the birth of of the Sturgis and I saved the bag because I'm a kind of a saver I save everything but this this is what happened on that day somewhere in Minnesota on the way home and what you see right there is is the result of that that ride which was a fun time with a lot of good guys <laughs> 